Although all stock camera apps come with some sort of time lapse mode, but they lack features like exposure lock, custom white balance, etc., which are very important and must have. We will be using open camera to record our time lapse. It allows you to control almost all aspects of the video. If you are on the iOS, use the stock camera app's time lapse feature. You will also need a tripod. I always carry this tiny tripod in my backpack. It's only $3. You can buy it on Amazon or AliExpress. I will leave a link to it in the description below. If you don't have a tripod, you can make a DIY one from a cup or even a card. Set your phone on tripod and launch the open camera app. Switch to the video mode. Click on the three dots. Here you can set the resolution of the video. If you can shoot 4K, don't do it. The app we will be using to color grade only support up to 1080p export. Same story with most of the free or even paid smartphone video editors. They can't edit in 4K. The next thing we will tweak is the shooting speed. This is very important and will affect how your video will look more than anything. If you are shooting 5x that means 5 minutes of recorded video will be played back in 1 minute, hence 5x speed. If you are not sure how fast you should shoot, record a short video at some speed that you think will look fine. Quickly check how the video looks and then adjust the shooting speed accordingly. Although you can change the speed after shooting but the apps available for that will ruin the video quality completely. The app we'll be using for color grading does not allow speeding up the video so try to nail the speed up factor in the first place. By the way, if after changing the shooting speed the app freezes, just restart the app, it will work fine. And the app will also remember your settings from the last time. Next, we will manually select a white balance profile. If you choose auto, the app might try to adjust it in between the video which will ruin the smoothness of the video. Then we will set the exposure of the video by tapping on different areas of the frame. Once you are happy with the exposure, lock it using this button. At last, we will lock the focus or set it to infinity. That's all, just start recording the video now. It might look like a lot of work but it really isn't. Once you are used to it, you will be doing it under 10 seconds. After you are done recording, it's time for the fun part, color grading. We will use Adobe Premiere Clip, it's free and works perfectly. You would have to log in to use the app. Tap on the add button and browse the video you just shot. Now the app will ask you if you want to automatically edit your video to the beats of a soundtrack. It's a cool feature, you should try it. But for this tutorial, we will use the freedom option. Here you can cut the starting and the ending part of the video as there might be some camera shake because that's where you touch the phone to start and stop recording. Then click on the aperture icon on the left. Here you can adjust the exposure, highlights and shadows of your clip. To add music, click on the sound icon and browse the audio of your choice. There are a few soundtracks built in Adobe Premiere Clip that you can use in your videos for free. Go back and now click on the filters icon. There are many color profiles that you can apply to your video. Try them all and choose the one that looks best on your video. Go back and play the video and make any adjustments if needed. Once you are happy with it, tap on the share icon and then save to gallery. Choose the resolution and tap continue. Now wait for the app to render your video. Once done, you can share your craft with the world. Here is the video we just shot. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you learned something new, make sure to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.